What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And we're going to talk about flashlights today. As you can see, I've got several. Uh oh, there went my bottle cap. So, flashlights are one of those things, kind of like pocket knives or screwdrivers or, uh, you know, many other tools where it's just, it's hard to find a perfect one. There's always one you want to try, there's a million ones that they make. Um, so, you know, these are the ones that I have, and I've bought a lot more over the years that have ended up sucking, that I've lost. I've, I've lost a bunch, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and give a, an overall, uh, you know, review or, um, description of all the different ones that I have, what I use them for, and maybe this can help you make a good decision when you're, when you're looking at purchasing some work lights, you know, if you do, if you work, uh, you know, do maintenance work, if you work in the trades period, this is one of the most important things tool wise, hands down period. It's like, you got to have good lighting. Otherwise it, you'll just lose your mind. So I break it down into a few categories. So you've got your uh, handheld like inspection lights. That's what I'm going to talk about first. And this is, you know, maybe your most used tool. Like when you, if you think of it as a tool, this might be in your hands, at least for me, more than anything. Like it, this might get used on a daily basis more than anything. And that's just a, a little inspection light, you know, little pin light, flashlight, whatever you want to call it. And the technology with these has just come an amazingly long way. So we used to have mag lights, the big giant mag lights, and they were super dim compared to what they have now and about a eighth of the size of one of those mag lights, you know. So anyway, here's your inspection lights. Um, these are the ones I have. I have lost so many of these, but... I'm going to tell you the two that I that I love. I actually love all of these, all four of these. But the best one, in my opinion, um, and I got this for free. Olight sent this to me. It's the only company that has ever sent me something for free that I've accepted. I've had lots of offers, but Olight was the only company that I accepted anything from. And this is a super cheap little flashlight. I think it retails for like 20 bucks or less. Um, but it is actually pretty bright. It's tiny. It has a little thing where you can put it on the, on your, on the brim of your ball cap or whatever. It's got one setting that is super dim. You know, you can barely see it, but if it's dark and you need it to last a long time, it'll last forever. You know, I'm still working on it. I'm still running on the same battery that I had when I got this tool and I've been using it you know, a ton. I use, this is my most used little flashlight. So if that says anything. And it's got a really unique little double click button. Like it clicks once before you can click it again. It's like it I don't it makes it to where you can almost have more like control with it. You can you can lightly press it and then press it again to get the right setting but without actually pressing the button. Um this is an awesome little light. The part number is I3TEOS. If you're interested, I love this light. It's become my my most used light. It lives right here. And one thing to consider, like this is my pouch that I use every day and that's the light I use every day. One thing to consider with these is the battery. So the thing about these is depending on how you work, you want to choose either a, you know, replaceable battery or a rechargeable battery. Now, I love this Streamlight Micro Stream. This is very similar, it's a little longer, but it's got the same feature, you know, like that and it's got a good button to it's a uh, it's really bright. It's got two settings, but 
it is rechargeable. Whereas this one, all it takes is one AAA battery. And I'm still working on the same Chinese AAA battery that this came with. And I've used this this light a ton. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I've used it a ton. Um, but I like to have a replaceable battery. One AAA battery is all this takes. And when you're on the go in tool bags and stuff, you're in an attic, you don't want a rechargeable one because this is going to die when you least want it to die, when you when you cannot, you, you know, you can't plug it in. You need the light right now, and you don't have it because this thing's dead. If you're working in a shop, if you're a mechanic, and you have a, a charger right there at your toolbox, and you just keep this plugged in every day at the end of the day, this is perfect. So that's why I keep this one in my shop now. Or I'll just take it with me if I need an extra one. But this is the one I keep because you can replace the battery. And then I also keep this one with me, too. And I love this one. It's not as bright as those two. This is the Milwaukee pen light. They sell it, you know, all over the place. It's got a nice cushiony part for you to bite down for when you put it in your mouth. Um, it has one setting, and that's it. On or off. It's just a great, this is a great one. I love this like kind of knurling right here. I love this little one and I use this one all the time too. It's just in a different spot. And if I just need to grab it and look at something real quick, it's always in my truck. So these are my two primary ones. And it's because, and this one has replaceable batteries too. Um, I think this one is also, I think this one might take double A's actually. No, triple A's. Two triple A batteries. So. It's nice, you can just keep your same little thing of AAA batteries. I have, I always keep AA's and AAA's in my truck. And you can replace the batteries when they die, and you're good to go. Keep them in your tool bag. And then, here's a cheap one that I paid like five bucks for. It is very, very dim, but it's a Quantum from Harbor Freight. And it's just kept on kicking forever. It's kind of a nice, beefier one. It's a good backup, you know. So these are the ones that I've held on to. I've had so many of these, lost so many of these. But these little inspection lights are the best. But I guess my takeaway from this part of it is get a rechargeable if you were, if you are going to be able to plug it in at the end of the day and use it, you know, if you just can constantly plug it in and be fine. But if you're on the go and you are always taking a tool bag with you or whatever, get you some uh, replaceable battery ones like these because you can always replace the batteries and you don't have to worry about plugging it in you know now I used to always just plug this in in the truck at the end of the day and it worked okay but I just like having this better because the first time this dies on you when you really are in a situation where you need a little flashlight and you can't go back and plug it in and wait for you to have for, to have some light you know it's gonna make you mad so, that's why I just love having the AAA battery replacements and move on with your life. So you've got your inspection light covered now. Good. There, these are some good options. There, there's some really good options. The micro streams have a the U, the stream lights have a lifetime warranty, so that's that's awesome. They sell these Milwaukee pen lights at Home Depot on sale all the time. A lot of the time, they sell it with this one, which is also a great Milwaukee light. Also, a replaceable battery light. And it's what we're going to talk about next. We're going to talk about uh, work lights and like small work lights. Um, these are my most used thing. I just, I mean, actually, the inspection lights are really my most used thing, but these type of lights are just a game changer. You know, they, these have only come out in the last 10 years or so. Like, I mean, I guess maybe that's not true, but work lights like this are just, they've, the technology has gone crazy. There's so many great ones. I don't have nearly as good as, as, as they make. Yeah, there's a lot better ones than this, but these are kind of the ones that I've settled on, uh, these two. And I have a snap on. 
I love this snap on. It is one of my favorite tools. It uh, it is a USB rechargeable, and I just it's USB C. I plug it in in my truck, you know, pretty much every day, and it just stays charged in the truck, and it's ready to roll. It's got a very strong magnet, you know. It it can be stuck anywhere, and it rotates. 360 degrees. It's got a great little setting where you hold it and it'll blink at you when it's turned all the way up. You don't switch through settings. You just hold it and look at the light. You can dim it down and it'll blink when it's at its lowest. It is just an awesome little work light. And the reason I got it is because I really wanted one similar to this Milwaukee. And I really loved this Milwaukee when I first got it. The first day I used it, I thought it was great. It's got good magnets. It's got a nice little carabiner to hook it on something. You know, folds up and down. It was really bright. But this thing sucks. This is the lithium USB. I had another Milwaukee, uh, you know, like a, a flashlight like this. It was like a 750 lumen or something, you know, supposed to be really nice. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it or something, and it did the same thing. These batteries suck. I don't know what it is about this USB. Don't buy this, like this red lithium USB batteries. I have bought two separate kinds of these uh, USB red lithium flashlights. Both of them, they, the batteries, literally, these lights die within 10 minutes, especially the, the flashlight one. I mean, I threw that thing in the street because it was just, it pissed me off so bad, and it, which was dumb. I should have taken it back to Home Depot, but I don't know what I was, I, I just was mad. I was in the middle of a job. But anyway, it'll, it makes you so mad when these things suck. And this one, I wanted to work, and then I started, see, like it's dead right now, I started keeping it up here and using it to light some videos and stuff, you know, it shed some light on some tools, whatever, but it wouldn't even last through a 15-minute video. I mean, it's just garbage. I love the design of it, and I wanted it to be, you know, my, my work light. It's the Rover USB light, but it just sucked. And uh, so I was like, all right, that's it. I'm not paying any more money for stupid lights like this that are not part of a battery platform, which I'll get to in a second, unless I get it from somebody who I know will stand behind it. So that's when I got on the Snap-on truck and I got this. And I haven't looked back. I'm probably going to get some more lights from, from the Snap-on guy. This is just an awesome work light. and I even, I think, like the design of this one better. Now, it's made in China, but whatever it is, the battery, the rechargeable battery that's in here, it is just better than these batteries. Whatever, these batteries, I mean, it, maybe they fixed it. You know, Milwaukee, if you see it, if you see this video, you know, let me know if you've maybe corrected an issue that you had with these or something. I, I bought this one uh, maybe three years ago. But these just these USB batteries, in my experience, are terrible. So this Snap-on, the part number is right here if you're interested. This was sixty bucks off the Snap-on truck, and it was money well spent. They're a, a year warranty. Um, the, my warranty just ran out. Although I bet you my Snap-on guy would warranty it if I if I took it to him and and asked him to, but. This has been a great work light. And these kinds of work lights are, are just super useful. Stick them in a furnace, um, stick them on a on a pipe or whatever, anything, anything metal, wherever you're at, you can stick it on there and rotate it. Or when you're working under the hood in a car, stick it on something and it's just great. Harbor Freight sells a version that looks like this. I don't know if it's as good, probably not as good. These snap-ons are 
are just a game changer for me. I love this one, and I'll, I'm going to get some more because, man, Snap-on has a lot of lights. And then I love this Milwaukee. Um, this Milwaukee is the uh, – it's a replaceable battery one, you know, and uh, it it takes double A's, two double A's, and it's got a funny way that it – goes back on but this one has two settings and turns off the other thing I don't like about settings is I don't like any strobes or any stupid stuff like that that just when you go to go like this and it starts strobing like you're in a club oh hell I'll I'll throw one across the, the street that, that strobes I've had some of those and they just it makes me so mad who is who I, I like it's for like tactical flashlights or whatever. If you're working on a damn furnace and you've got a strobe light going, and it, when you're already frustrated and you start fumbling with your light, oh man, that'll piss you off. So anyway, this one, it's got a great little feature here where it moves like, oops, where it moves like this and covers up the magnet. That's kind of neat, you know, so you don't get it, get stuff stuck on it in your tool bag or whatever. And you can move it over like this, and it'll cover over the power button so it, so it doesn't accidentally get turned on. I like that it slides like this. And it's got a magnet. Man, I didn't get that tight enough on there. Um, it's got a magnet on top and a magnet on the side, which is really great, you know. And they're strong magnets, so, you know, you got one there, and you got one there. That gives you a lot of ways to, to shine it. And these ones are cheap. I think I can. You can get this one and this one together for like thirty bucks or something at Home Depot when they're on sale, which is a great, great buy. I would highly recommend it. This one I keep in my HVAC uh, bigger Vito uh, HVAC bag for when I'm like changing out blower motors or you know, I just it's it's awesome for just sticking inside of a furnace or something. It's just great. So this one's really good. So. These two are my great little little work lights, and they're awesome. Now, these little ones are, they're good. You can, if you get reliable ones, they're great. This one's garbage. But then, what you really want is you need to get lights that are on the battery platform that you use. You know, now I I have several battery platforms. I don't mind having a few different kinds of chargers. It's no big deal for me. Um, I've had different stuff over the years. The 12 volt stuff is really really good. I have just recently gotten into Milwaukee, and these two Milwaukee lights have been fantastic. Now these are kind of work lights. We'll talk about these first. I've had this. Uh, this Bosch one for a while because I had those 12 volt Bosch drills and this is just a really simple one it has one setting it's very bright super bright um, a lot of times I'll keep this big battery and hold it like this walk around with it you know um, it's got a hook on it no magnet but this is just a simple good work light I really like this one um, sometimes I'll put like one of these batteries in it and make it a little smaller and then you can kind of it's got these edges where you can point it different directions turn it on shine it up under a sink or something i used to use that all the time this light um, but ever since i've gotten this milwaukee stuff i have really started liking this one i got this one and this one at the same time and this is just a great, great, simple light. I like this uh, big base battery because I can put it under a sink, point it up. It's got one setting, and it's only rated at 100 lumens. But there's something about it that, like, it's way brighter than other flashlights that I've used that say they're 100 lumens or 200 lumens. This is just a bright light. And it's just simple and really, really good. These ones that use these batteries, 
are the best ones. They last the longest. They're just they're way more reliable than anything. Even even stuff like this, um, even AAA batteries or AA batteries, ones that use these kind of uh, lithium batteries, they're just the best. And you've already you've always got these batteries charged because you use your power tools, you know. Um, and this is like this is a better version of something like this, which I've used this light for years. I've had this Dewalt one, and it really it's okay. It, I like that you can turn it all these you know all around you can turn it it does 180 degrees like that and it goes 180 degrees like that so there's no real direction that this won't turn but it's got and it's got a belt hook and it's got this hook you can hang off a nail or something but you know you can sit it on the ground under a sink or something and point it it's good i've used it a lot and it, it's bulky though and you need to use the smallest battery because this magnet and this magnet is not strong at all. So this thing, you put it on some metal or whatever. A lot of the times it'll just like fall down, you know, and that really pisses me off. So the magnet sucks. Um, it's, I don't really have any of the two amp hour batteries and that's what you really need for this to make the, make it flush for the magnet. But anyway, it's just, uh, it's not that good. I don't love this light. But I got it with a lot of DeWalt tools back in the day, and it served me well. And I can't say that it's, like, terrible. I just like a lot of other flashlights better than this one. So this, this Milwaukee is basically a way better version of this. It's lighter and just a way better design. Uh, this one, it has a magnet. It's not the strongest magnet in the world, but it's not as heavy as this. So this can will hold up. And I just love the simplicity of this, you know. You stick it under a sink or whatever, point it, and you're good to go. One setting. It's just great. This is a great, great work light. But the best one that I have in the, in the Milwaukee lineup is this Spotlight. Um, I did a video when I bought these two, and I have been so pleased with them since I got them. But this Milwaukee Spotlight, I just, I've used it so much since I got it just a couple months ago, maybe even less. And it has come under so many houses and gone mostly under houses. It's just so great. And I mean, this is a bright, bright light. It's crazy. It's got two settings. One is really bright. The other is still really bright. I think it's like 750 lumens, but just being able to get this and point it, you can like really, really, really illuminate some space with this guy right here. This, this spotlight is one of my favorite tools, period. This M12 spotlight, I just can't, I cannot sing its praises enough. Um, not, not really seeing a good part number, but just, you know, search M12 Spotlight. This thing is worth its weight in gold. I think maybe it's 60 bucks or something like that. Worth every penny. Like I said in that other video, if you're a home inspector or anything like that where you're crawling under houses and inspecting things all the time, get this thing. Every home inspector should have one of these. One of the best things I've ever owned right here. Um, so... These guys here, these guys here, these guys here so far are like, they're the major winners. I use these ones all the time. These two Milwaukee's, uh, these two Milwaukee's, this O-Lite, and this Snap-On. Really, this Snap-On and this O-Lite are like my daily lights. And then, you know, I, I usually take this one under a sink. If I'm crawling around, looking around under a house, I take this or in an attic. And if I'm just on the go and needing to check something out, I'll either grab this one or if I have my pouch, I use this, which I you know all the time have my pouch. So those are the those are the winners out of the whole bunch. Um, I have done a video. If you have not seen my video about these two guys, 
Uh, you can check that out. I was going to include them, but this video is getting pretty long. I have a video about this. These are my M18 big lights, and these are like the the big daddies for, you know, you need to light up a whole room. This guy, the radius light, one of the one of the best, another one of the best things I've ever owned. <laughs> uh, Milwaukee just kills it with the with the M12 and M18 and battery replaceable lights like this. They kill it with lighting. The only thing is the USB stuff absolutely sucks. But the M18 stuff, amazing, amazing. Um, just fantastic. You can clip this onto a 2x4. Uh, it's got magnets. It's super bright. It articulates points different directions and this thing lights up a whole freaking room and you can plug it in it's just the best so anyway check out my video on that if you haven't seen it before but i hope this helped if you're if you're looking for some lights you know you need some work lights or whatever i would highly suggest milwaukee's lighting especially the m12 and this little pack that you can get um this little O light is just the best little inspection light, in my opinion. I love this thing. Uh, but you can't go wrong with stream light if you want a rechargeable one. And then the snap on is just a great little work light. This is like a super useful little type of light. And I can't I can't have enough good things to say about the snap on. So there's my little winner's circle of work lights and maybe this you know if you were looking at some of these or thinking about some ones that you want to get hopefully this video helped you out so anyway there's a bunch of work lights thanks for watching